everyone. This is Mary Lou. I want to share with you all a toilet paper mini I made today. Well, I started it yesterday and I finished it a while ago. Uh, I'm going to try to do the video with my cell phone again, and I'll try not to move too much. Um, I'm going to try to do this also one-handed. Okay, this is a mini that I made. I hope you all can see this pretty good. Okay, I put a button up here. I inked around the edges of this um, little die cut I had. Cut out a, a butterfly from my pasta paper. And there's a tiny uh, I Am Roses flower, another one. A couple other flowers and buttons that I put on here. And this little flower, I layered it and put a button. It came from this uh, kit here. I um, don't remember the brand. I think it was Making Memories, but I'm not sure. Uh, I got it Tuesday morning a while back, like two dollars for the whole box. And let's see, and I put a couple of pearls up here. I don't have a crocodile, so I uh, wrote with a pen. I tried to cover it up. I think one of my pearls came off. And so I put a vellum or acetate butterfly. And then I made some tags and a little bit of Prima Trim ribbon on there. And my tags, I made it by using the corner punch, Marjorie Stewart Butterfly Corner Punch. I received that from Elaine Honeybee. And I put a pearl up here. I inked up the edges. And I stamped some images and a journaling spot. And for all my uh, tags, I used either this stamp from the dollar bin at Michael's or Joanne's, and I used this one also. I used the butterfly on some and this border corner. I'm sorry. I hope y'all can see that real good. And then for the journaling part, I used this little part here and this little part here, and it is from by Sandalion Rouge de Garance. It's a stamp set I received a while back from uh, Laura, Laura's Laboris. Thank you, Laura. And I'm sorry, and the paper I used was the Whimsy Stack DCWB. It's the glossy glitter. Okay. And then the ink pad I used to ink everything up was the Studio G in this color. It doesn't say the name on it, but it's one of the chalk inks. I love this color. Okay. And let me show you the next page. Okay, in the back of that, I put uh, some brackets from that little box. I inked up the edges, and I cut a little square from the paper stack. Oh, I forgot to put a stamp on there. And I just put some bling here. This was actually a word, a Christmas word. I think it said jolly, and I just cut it up and made it into a little bling there. And this one is a Recollections Bling. I cut a piece, put it on there. A butterfly stamp and some flowers. I put three different kinds of flowers on here. And some more of that bling that I cut up. And I put a little bit of lace trim right here. And made another tag. And this one I used another Marjorie Stewart punch and I stamped some a journaling spot and the butterfly. And the back of this, sorry about that, I put this journaling spot or die cut, smile, laugh, play. I inked up the edges. I'm not sure what I want to put here. And did I leave a pocket? No, I didn't leave a pocket on this one. Okay. And then this one. I it already had a lot of glitter on the paper and I put a layered flower with another flower that I inked up and some of these vellum this is um forgot what paper stack this was from. I cut this out and these are the vellum butterflies that I got from the Dollar Tree and Prima ribbon and this one was the Prima uh, pom pom trim. These two I got from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. And oops. And the back of this one, I just put some of these dimensional stickers, and I made a little butterfly out of one of the uh, layers of the flower. 
and it had glitter everywhere. So I just put some of these little dots here and there. Okay, and I also had a tag for that one. And I cut it upside I punched the border upside down. So it's this one. It's also from the paper stack. And I stamped the butterfly and a couple of journaling spots in the corner. Okay. And then this other one. I think this is from that recollections bling that I had trimmed. A couple of buttons, some I am roses uh, mini mini flowers, and the paper's already glittered. It has the word love, and it has the bird, but I didn't realize I cut off the beak, but I still liked it. And the tag, I inked up also the Marta Stewart punch for the corner and a pearl, and a couple of journaling spots on there the butterfly. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. It's kind of dark in here. I try to add extra light, but still gets a lot of shadow. And I forgot what collection this is. I think it's Recollections. It's one of these journaling spots. It's those little packages that come with everything. And this one has a tag in it. And this is from probably the same kit. And I did a little um, blocking with a sticker. It came in a kit. I think it was Making Memories. And some more of the die cuts. And I stamped the, no, oh, I didn't stamp the back of that one either. And I put a crown up here with the flocking. And it already has the birds up there. And I added some flowers. And this flower I made with um, some seam binding that I cut a layer of it, and then I made the flower. And the mini I am roses mini flowers up here. Another one from the collection. And another tag, and the Marta Stewart border punch that I received also from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. And journaling spot and the butterfly punch. I'm sorry, stamp. And this is the last page. And I added a big flower from I Am Roses, the two tones. And another white flower that I had. And a mini flower. Another butterfly from the collection. And this paper is really pretty, has a lot of glittering sections on it. And I used a brad, a flower brad, to attach a piece of chain to a clip and this is what I hold the album close with. Okay. I don't have um what is it, a crocodile to hold, punch the holes. So I used one of those punches to punch um holes for notebook paper or something. And I put a ring and a bunch of little beads and charms. A couple of butterflies. Also that I had received from Elaine, and it's just a dangle, and I'm going to add some fibers, maybe some, a uh, couple of yarns, and maybe some lace or ribbon on there. Anyway, this is my mini, and I really like the way it came out. I hope y'all like the way it came out also. Please leave me your comments or opinions. Thanks. Y'all have a good day. Bye.